good day everybody welcome to today's video today's video we're gonna look at this all top 4x4 air compressor 45 minute duty cycle 150 psi let's have a look at the stats at the back maximum airflow 180 liters per minute maximum voltage 13.8 45 amp draw that's quite a bit maximum operating temperature 105 degrees Minimum minus 55, it'll work right around here. Circuit breaker with reset. Thermal cutoff protection. 0.7 horsepower motor. Let's get this out of the box and have a look. Got this off Amazon. So it's not too huge up here, but we'll get this out of there. This thing is heavy. I'm not gonna lie. Where's the zipper? Oh, that's huge. So that is my airline. Wow. So this air compressor is big and beefy. I have an ARB air compressor built in on the Jeep, and this is definitely quite a bit bigger. And I have a Vier in my Jeep JK that has a tank, and this compressor is probably about almost twice the size of that one as well. So in a combination of using onboard air and this, should have no problem filling up 35-inch tires after a day on the trail and let's have a look at this we got a power on off switch there's your circuit breaker right there looks like it's got its own custom air fitting i don't know if you could probably unthread that but this is the hose and it has your standard thread and you've got pretty good length of hose there obviously to be able to reach all your tires etc this is looking good so I wouldn't say they're super heavy duty battery cables and that is your pressure relief right there but we're only going to be going to 35 psi so i think between both compressors it's going to work good however for this video and this test i'm only going to run the compressor to fill up the tires in the jeep Time for the big test, four 35 inch tires. Got my air up tool on it with the manifold, as you can see, all four connected. Air down to about 16 PSI. I already had a test run. This thing is pretty fast. According to the gauge about 16 psi so the interesting thing that i found out and it might be a little confusing to people at first is that the air compressor will actually provide more air than what your tires are reading so if you're reading 16 psi and you turn on the air compressor it's automatically going to go to four or five psi more <clears throat> so when you're filling up your tires for example if i want 35 psi i gotta go close to almost 40 on the gauge because that's how much volume of air it's moving My first impressions with the all top air compressor is that it is crazy amazing how fast this thing is how much air it can produce filled up four 35 inch tires from 16 to about 34 psi in roughly about five minutes that's insane 
really glad I bought that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.